Are you looking for the best miter saws? I end your budget. Well, in today's video, we break down the top five best miter saws that are available on the market. I made this list based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about this product, you can check out the description below and also make sure you subscribe for more reviews. Okay, so let's get started with the video. At the first position of our list we have the Bosch Power Tools Corded Dual Bevel Sliding Miter Saw. The Bosch Power Tools GCM12SD 12-inch miter saw comes with a sliding arm that allows the user to cut boards up to 14 inches wide. The saw comes with pull-out material supports on both sides to stabilize boards up to 40 inches long, and it cuts compound bevels in both directions. The clear saw guard on the Bosch miter saw is designed not to obstruct the user's view of the cut throughout the entire process. The trigger handle features an ergonomic grip that can be used by either right-handed or left-handed users just as comfortably, and it features a padded non-slip grip. Fences are adjustable, and the miter scale numbers are etched into stainless steel for durability. During testing, we found that the Bosch saw truly does belong at the top of this list. First, it has a zero-clearance slide arm that can sit up against a wall if necessary. The arm is also super smooth for making accurate cuts. Also, there wasn't any assembly to deal with, and there are lots of additional references for roof rafters and valley cuts built in. The dust collection was outstanding, and the motor is super powerful. The only qualms anyone might find with this saw is that it's a little heavy for carrying around the shop, and there aren't any lasers or lights. Moving on to the next at number 2 with the DeWalt 12-inch sliding compound miter saw. Anyone looking for a miter saw that does almost everything well may want to check out this DeWalt 12-inch sliding miter saw. The saw comes with a powerful 15-amp motor, and its sliding rails allow the user to cut a board up to 16 inches wide. With dual compound action, there's no need to turn a board over to cut an opposing angle. Just tilt the blade arm in the other direction. The DeWalt miter saw also features a bright LED light that illuminates the cutting field so the user can see exactly where they're cutting, and it comes with a collection dust bag designed to catch up to 75% of the dust it generates. This DeWalt saw proved to be a great miter saw during testing. Despite not having a laser guide, the onboard LED and powerful motor made cutting a breeze. We appreciated the large cutting capacity, though it does come at the cost of requiring a lot of room for the rails. Also, instead of turning a knob to lock the saw angle in place, this saw uses a locking lever for quick angle changes. The number third position we have the Craftsman V27-1 quarter inch sliding miter saw kit. The most significant benefit of the Craftsman V20 is its small footprint and lightweight design. Also, the ability to use it even when electricity isn't available is a plus. Lithium-ion batteries are getting more powerful, and this miter saw can make up to 585 cuts through a 3 and a quarter inch medium-density fiberboard on a single charge. It accepts a Craftsman 20-volt rechargeable battery, which is included along with a battery charger. This miter saw features a powerful motor that spins the blade at a rate of 3,800 rotations per minute, making it well-suited to cutting wall studs, baseboards, and molding with ease. It also slides, making it possible to cut boards up to 8 inches wide. We weren't exactly sure what we'd find with the Craftsman V20 saw, mainly due to its weight and the large number of plastic pieces. But it was easy to put together, it cut well, and it was shockingly quiet. We could see using this saw for projects like flooring or trim work, though it did handle the construction lumber. Our only real qualms were the plastic and the single bevel action, rather than dual. Next at number 4 we have the Makita LS0815F Slide Compound Miter Saw. For woodworkers looking for a miter saw for the workshop or to take on a job site, this Makita tool doesn't disappoint. It cuts boards up to 12 inches wide, and it features pull-out material stabilizers to support boards when cutting. Weighing in at only 31 pounds, this miter saw is easy to transport, and it bolts to the work table for stability. The Makita saw comes with a dust collection port, and for added safety it features a trigger brake that stops the blade from spinning when the user releases the trigger. It also comes with a soft start that reduces movement and increases accuracy. The saw also cuts bevels in both directions. We like the saw's smaller blade, as it appears not to deflect, 
meaning to bend or misshapen while cutting, like a 12-inch saw might. The motor was powerful enough for a smaller saw, but the cut capacity was outstanding. The soft start is a little rough, giving the saw a bit of a chattery feeling until the blade speeds up. Our other complaint is that the blade will not tilt to the right, limiting the saw's capability a bit. And finally at number 5th position we have the Makita 10 inches dual bevel sliding miter saw with laser. Anyone who's short on workspace but still wants maximum cut capacity may want to check out the LS1019L from Makita. This saw features a 10 inch blade, a dual compound bevel action, and a laser cut line for accurate cuts. The 15 amp motor has plenty of power and spins at 3200 RPMS for cutting a variety of wood materials. This saw has specially designed rails that come toward the user, allowing this saw to be positioned closer to a wall. These zero clearance rails make this saw a great choice for a workshop or other areas where space is limited. During testing, there weren't many areas where the Makita didn't excel. The zero clearance arm and its action were excellent, and the saw had plenty of power. Also, the laser helps line up the cut, and the dust collection is top-notch. The only issue we found was that the saw was a little complicated to set up, and despite Makita touting that this saw is light, it's not that light, at almost 60 pounds. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now, I hope to see you guys, in the next video till next time.